Welcome back. And today's message is the window or the mirror. And you might be thinking, well, I don't understand. Well, it's a great analogy for life. And the fact of the matter is, is most humans, they look at life from their perspective, out looking at other people, other dynamics through a window. And when you look through a window, it's very easy to see flaws in other people. Because guess what? Human nature, we are flawed. Um, but ultimately, that's not the way of the approach that really I'm here to share with you today. Because if you look at through, if you look at life and you look at human behavior through a window, granted, or I should say, you're going to end up being disappointed. Um, human nature, you know, ultimately will disappoint you. You're going to have friction. You can easily see flaws in other people. And that's just the reality of the situation because human nature, we are all flawed. So my call to action today, instead of looking at, uh, you know, the perspective through a window, I want you to turn that perspective and look at a mirror. And really what that does, it shines the light back on you. What are your strengths, but also how can you better affect the situation? What are your weaknesses that you need to shore up? Because uh, the fact of the matter is, is let's face it, in any sort of friction, there's many times that there's also fault that can be put at you. And that's really the philosophy of extreme ownership. And there's an incredible book out there by Leif Babin and Jocko Willink called Extreme Ownership. Would highly recommend you dive to that content. And really extreme Extreme ownership is about looking at life as a mirror and figuring out, okay, where can I improve? What can I do better? How could I have impacted that situation even further? And to kind of put a bow on it, I really love the, the study of Stoic philosophy. And Stoic philosophy takes a look at two different things. First and foremost, what, are, what is outside of my control? And the other side of things, what is in my control? And a good Stoic philosophy, a good Stoic, if you will, focuses only on what's in our control, what's in that person's control, and literally releases everything outside of, of our control to the ethers. And that's the where you want to be. Because if you're focusing on what's in your control, you're looking at life through a mirror. What can you change? How can you get better? How can you improve? And when you do that, when you take ownership, when you look at life as a mirror instead of a window, guess what? You are setting yourself up for massive success in your fitness, in your life, and in your family. So that's today's message. Please don't look at life through a window. Look at it as a mirror.